All right, we got us a special edition of uh, Engine Day Night here. Got everybody here. His little uh, little dirt bike, my head mechanic, and we got Mike over here, my uh, head electrician slash generator guy slash battery mover. Battery mover. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So, uh, yeah, a lot of you guys are concerned about Mike because we missed the show. He was deathly ill, but he's doing okay there over there. We appreciate all your concern. So uh, we got a lot to catch up on here. I think uh, right now we got these raggedy hoses, heater hoses that we didn't uh, have connected. You know, somebody customized it with uh, braided aluminum or whatever that is. Fake. Garbage. So uh, we're going to put good hoses on there, right Mike? Mm -hmm. And uh, see if it leaks, see if the, the heater leaks. Right. If it don't, right now we have water in here. So we'll drain it and then possibly if we get to it, I don't know. Me and a uh, little dirt bike earlier, we, we disconnected all the bolts on the fender and our radiator support's almost ready to come out. So we don't know where we're going to go, but we're going to go somewhere. All right, let's do something, buddy. All right. All uh, right. Yeah, to get to them radiator hoses, uh, you got to take the whole battery box out. Yeah. It's uh, then you are under there. there. That must be one of Ford's better ideas. I'm like, what's that? Yeah, it's hiding. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Only the four bolts come, the thing come right out of there. Alright, yeah, so, that's pretty good. We can get to the hose barbs there and make this easy. Alright, good work buddy. Alright, you know we're making good progress here. Mike's working on a fuel line now. You're going to take out a glass one. There's a lot of... Let me see that Mike. Look how, look how much garbage that they collected in there. Wow, that's crazy. There's a reflection but I think you can still see it. So we're going to put one of these in there. And we're going to put that one back in. I'm going to clean that and put that back in. But uh, Mike's yeah. got the battery box back in. And he's got the, the radiator hoses all lined up and uh, strapped in. They look good. And that's back on there. So if we put this gas line in, we're going to start it up and uh, see if our heater works or right. leaks. And then uh, maybe maybe we'll take the radiator support off or, or something. We'll try something. The old Y block, Mike. Yeah, yeah. The successor to the flathead. Did you know that, buddy? He did. He did, he did. There's not much he don't know. All right. All right, let me see that. Here's, a, here's the glass itself. Look what was inside that. Those coming out of the gas tank. That's crazy. What do you got there, Mike? Ay, ay, ay. Are we going to be able to clean that? Yeah, we'll, we'll try to blow out some brake clean. I think, I think it'll clean up okay. Yeah, I think it'll, take all, it'll keep all the big chunks out. Yeah, and then we'll have, this right. will be the primary and the paper one will be our secondary. All right. So, just give it Good deal, buddy. Try not to breathe that. Alright. Let me see it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Fucking better. Rebuilt. Better than new. Rebuilt. Yeah. It's got a pretty fine mesh in there. It's finer than I thought, but that should mm. be fine. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, did you hear him? <laughs> that should be fine. It should be. Oh, these guys kill me. Y'all done with that gas line, Mike? Gas line's out. Oh, yeah. Yeah? For the new filters? Yeah. See if it starts, buddy. Ready, buddy? Yeah. Watch out. Whoa! Yeah, it starts. Hey, yeah, yeah, that starts good, Mike. Yeah. Hey, no leak. All right. Yeah, we're gonna wait for uh, wait for it to heat up and then uh, see if the heater's leaking. So right now we only have water in this thing, and now we know uh, if it's not leaking, we'll put the manifest in. All right, we'll get back to you once it warms up. All right. Yeah, we got the thermostat open. Mike's adding a little more water. And, uh, let me see. Excuse me, buddy. Everything seems to be dry under there. So that's good. The wiring, the wiring isn't hooked up for the, the fan right now, but we're just looking to see if it's uh, leaking, so. Ah, uh, we're sitting pretty, buddy. We got, all this, we got all the bolts on the fender here, disconnected, and down there on the stone guard. We're going to take the bumper off so I don't scratch it. That's only four bolts, but uh, Mike, <laughs> Mike is taking the, the wiring off, this is horrible. and he's, uh, he's getting disgusted. Look at him. He's, he's not even unbolting it. He's ripping it off the thing there. All right. We're almost done. Let me, let, we'll take the bumper off, and then uh, yeah, yeah. we'll see about that radiator support. All right. Uh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I was going to say drain it, but... 
why, why if you're walking through all the water and everything, we'll just leave it like that till we're ready to take this out and then drain it. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. All right. Good deal, buddy. Get you out. Turn the mic into a body man. Mike said the heck with all that grease. Yeah. Trade that in for rust, huh? Yeah. Trade that in for tetanus and uh, rust flakes in your eye. All right, yeah, we're doing good. You got the stone protector. The stone protector's in bad shape. Actually, not protector. It's a, a stone guard or a stone reflector. Mm. Let me get a look at it. Come on over. Come on over, guys. I do. All right, hold on. I gotta get Mike something. All right, here's a stone deflector. It's not in horrible shape. I mean, it's in bad shape, but it's not in horrible shape. I can fix it. But uh, you see the bubble in here and the rust up here, rust up here. Let me show you what caused that. Right? Somebody tried fixing it, and instead of just fixing it right, you know, they just. Uh, put a half-ass patch on the back. Now that half-ass patch would have been fine if they had sealed the edges, but you know, even, even with seam seal, just seal it with seam seal, they would have been fine. But they just spot welded it and, and did plastic over it. Same with this one. So like I say, we can save this. It's not that bad, there's plenty of metal there. I just gotta cut out their, uh, their mistakes, you know? It looks like it looks like an average homeowner probably didn't have a decent welder or nothing, you know, just trying to trying to get something to last a little longer. So you can't criticize the work, you know, just by looking at the weld, you can you can tell it was probably a, a flux flux core. All right, yeah. So I'll fix that and uh, we'll probably reuse that. Let me see how my uh, body men are doing over here. Oh boy, oh boy. You got a uh, six-sided... Six-sided half-inch? You know what? Never mind. I got better way done. Oh, boy. Uh, he's going to use a six-pointed uh, impact gun. No, not exactly. No? There we go. Stand back. Don't get in his way. Stand back. I think, I, I think I've seen the wheel just lift off the ground. There you go, he has it now. Sound like it broke loose in the back. Oh well. Alright, these guys are killing it. Alright, them guys are taking the radiator mounts off. Yeah. The big three quarter inch bolt. Sounds like it's pretty dry. Even though we squared it down with that it's stuff. It's different with this stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, you know, when you spray it, when you spray that stuff on it, that's supposed to be good too. That's an aero coil. You know, it. it a lot of times it doesn't see where it's supposed to. You still able to hold it? Uh, Alright, we're just about ready to take this radiator support out. Mike is unbolting the radiator. You think you've seen it? Might you be able to let that sit there instead of unhooking everything? But uh, the closer look at this thing, somebody put a lot of, you know, back in the day there was a thing called tiger glass, you know, it was a fiberglass mesh, you know, and resin and stuff. And uh, they used to use that, uh, you know, to hold shit together. <laughs> I almost had a curse. Yeah, they used to use that to hold stuff together. And and they used a lot of it here. I'll, I'll get a better look once we take this thing off. Alright. Uh, guide that lower hose around the fan. Oh, okay. The guy's going to try to take it out now. Take the, we, had, we decided we have to take the radiator out because it's, it's actually slid into a slot. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's leaking. But like I said, there's no antifreeze in there. That's, that's all just plain water. Rusty water. Probably lean up against the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's look at this mess. Boy, I don't know what I'd do without these guys. It's funny. It's, it's all unbolted and it still feels like it's in there solid as a rock. But uh, it's all unbolted, that's for sure. So, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. All right, tilt that back, buddy. Yeah. yeah, we had trouble with it, only because up here they had it uh, sort of fiberglass to, to the to the front there and everything. The whole front end was sort of glued here. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to focus on it like that. 
Yeah, you know, all this was uh, was glued with uh, tiger tiger glass. So uh, uh, we said we have dinner and then uh, we'll throw the radiator support on, and I could probably handle it myself while you guys are gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, all... I think I think you're going to want to spend some time cleaning all this stuff up before we throw that in, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit. It's rough. It is, man. Oh well. The old Ford. All right, let's have something to eat. All right, you know, we just finished having dinner here, and uh, I think we're going to pack it in for tonight because it's uh, the sun is down behind the trees, and uh, we've got the radiator out, so I can work on that and plug that hole. Here's the the, uh, the old radiator support. When it's out, you can actually see how bad it was. You know, here's the top. This is actually the top of it. Or no, that's the bottom of it. That's bad. This is the top of it, and this is shot. And then down here is all rotted to pieces, so... I'm lucky they, they made that piece, you know. It wasn't that expensive. I mean, it was expensive, but considering the work it, it would have taken to, to make that, you know, functional again. Yeah, we got to clean up all the tools here and everything. And, uh, yeah, there's no sense in rushing and trying to put this on. This way it'll give me time to clean up, right, Mike? Yeah, clean it up. And you know what I was just thinking? We'll, we'll, get, we'll wait till your... Uh for your rocker cover oh, yeah. come in, oh, yeah. and we'll adjust the rockers. Look at this. One. Look at that. Look at Mike. Look at that. Mike is I, on I that. like that. It's like a generator. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mike's it's almost generator. sitting on the engine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> He's always thinking. Oh, yeah, that, that'll be good. To, you know, the yeah, valve. That way I can turn the crank easy. No yeah. worries. Yeah, did I tell you the gas were supposed to be here yesterday? And they, oh. they came, they were in New Jersey, and they're supposed to be delivered last night, and I go to check it, and then instead of coming to the house, they went to Kentucky. What? Oh, my yeah. They live there? I know. Oh, man. FedEx. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of cleaning up. Like here, this this looks like it was actually welded here, Mike. Wow. You know that's not that's not that uh, tiger glass. Yeah, that's, that's they a welded stick that. Weld there. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. And over here, I don't know what the hell you did here, but uh, it'll give me a chance to clean everything up here. Yeah, you want to do it. You want to do yeah. it right. Yeah, and then even here, I can I can do a half-ass job and. You know, maybe paint the frame up there, so make it make it look good. Yeah, just put you know, some anytime there. you look at something that's a little cleaner, you don't mind working on it. That's right. So, all right, so there you have it, guys. I don't know how long this video is, but uh, if it's long enough, we'll end it, and if not, then uh, we'll add a little bit to it. A little uh, nickel dime stuff. Close the hood, buddy. Let me get a let me get a picture of it. Let me get a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Thumbnail time. We'll get a thumbnail of Mike in it, see if uh, we get any, any more views. Yeah, that's it. All right, we're all cleaned up here, so uh, and it's getting dark. So what do you say, guys? Enough of this. Enough of this. Mike? Enough of this. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's go outside and see what I've been up to. Uh, the, the first half of this video was uh, Friday night, and uh, right now it's Sunday evening. It rained all day. You can see the ground is wet. But uh, the sun finally came out, and I can get a little bit done here. But uh, yesterday was Saturday, and I worked on this all day. But first, let me show you. Here's the grill. The grill came. I, I'm happy where the grill came out. I don't have the headlights in there now, but uh, I think it's going to look pretty good. But what I've been doing is uh, I got the battery box out, and uh, I'm getting ready to paint it. I cleaned it all up. I got my uh, my magic rust remover on here. This here is just a test. Uh, you know, I test shit or I test stuff before I, uh, you know, because it's been sitting on a shelf, and I, I I tested on something before. I already did it on this corner, but we'll. Uh, that's uh, running downhill. It'll be okay. Let's see what that does. It's running downhill too. Uh, we'll come back and uh, see what that did. But meanwhile, you know, I painted the struts that hold the the radiator up or the grill up. I don't know. I don't even know what it holds up. And uh, headlight buckets. And we bought some uh, ceramic pigtails for the headlights. And a new uh, radiator cap. Radiator. Sorry. I don't know how it's pronounced. Everybody pronounces it different. There was a song out in the 60s called Hug My Radiator by Dion, so I call a radiator, but then he, he was from the Bronx, so, all right, let me go show you what I did here, I still have to fix the hole, little pinhole in that, <laughs> there we go again, 
the radiator radiator but uh, the old day yesterday I worked on this and I'll show you what I did see I wasn't under here yet see all the leaves I scraped down this uh, inner fender in the back wall there took the battery box out you know and did the frame up here did that frame and I stopped you know because uh, it was getting dark and I, I know it was gonna rain so I only had you know maybe a half hour to, to paint this and uh, I'm happy with that, the way that came out because that was a mess you know I actually I took a scraper my buddy uh, Jim not too fast for you he made this scraper for me uh, a few years back. You gotta make me a few more of these, Jim. So when I uh, when it gets dull, I can just grab another one and keep going. But I'm gonna do this with my left hand. You see that? This one's not sharp, but it takes you right down to the metal. It gets rid of all the all the garbage on there. So that's what I did with that one. I took it, on, I took it right down in the metal. And then uh, I sprayed it with uh, some rust remover. So uh, that's where we're at. Like I say, tonight's Sunday. It was raining today, so I spent the day watching some football. And uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? Uh, I think a little, little uh, dirt bike's going to come over tomorrow night. And I think there's only about probably probably two or three bolts holding this, this fender on. And if you see here, the bottom is messed up. This needs to be all welded together, maybe a piece put in or something, but uh, when he gets here, I think I want to ask him to help me take that off. Because even right now, this uh, this inner fender, this is just flopping in there. This, I don't even know what's holding that on. If anything, it might only be a, one bolt. So, all right, let's, uh, let's go see how our rust remover is doing. There's a couple minutes. All right, this looks good because this is a little cleaner. Let me get a, a wet rag. Okay, all I did was go in and get a rag, so it's not like it, it was any more time here. I'm gonna take a look at it. Okay. See, just that little bit of time. Uh, took the rust off. So it's good stuff. It turns white. So, uh, whenever you do that, you gotta uh, do whatever you're gonna do, put primer on or whatever. But it's good stuff. We went over here. This, this might take a little more. It's actually taking some of the some of the paint off. But I missed. Okay. Okay. Well, it's in there. I sharpened my uh, my little scraper here. Let me show you how good it is when it's sharp. All right. Yeah, the lighting's a little harsh. But uh, we'll do the best I can. Yeah, I actually scraped the whole thing completely, completely down. Uh, I think I think we might take this off. But because it's from the friction here but uh, just that little bit you know that is that half a minute or so I can't tell but that gets me right down to the middle and uh, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing here and then I wash it down with some uh, rush remover or okay this one here let me see let me see if you can see the corner here Whoop! Sorry, sorry to mean the bumpies. All right, this uh, this corner here, I'm gonna have to do a little grinding because they actually welded this to the front. So that that there is a little bit of rust, but. Uh, you know, it's an old truck. All right, let me show you off there and uh, uh, let me show you one other thing we got uh, cooking in the bucket. You got a little brush where it helps keep 
keep track of where you're at and what you did. Yeah, yeah it's gonna come out nice. All right, yeah, before I forget it, man, don't forget, Jim. Make me a couple more of them. I don't know what kind of metal you use, what kind of steel, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's perfect, man. That's, that's uh, stiff, sharpens nice, and uh, and this big lighter thing, you know, it's perfect, it's perfect in your hand, you know. So, uh, see what you can do there, buddy. All right. All right. Yeah, I checked over here and wiped it down with uh, some water, and it's, uh, it wasn't really doing a whole lot. I mean, you can tell it was working a little bit, so... Uh, the stuff, uh, this magic rust remover here, you see how good it worked on that little surface rust, but this here is a little deeper, so. That, this is diluted. And then if, if I put full strength on, you can watch it. Look at it, it's, it's uh, immediately taking action. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to brush this on. See what it does. All right, yeah, I can see it's, it's doing a lot better. All right, well, anyway, you know, you, even if it's a different color, you could. Uh, you know it's uh, etching it for doing what it's supposed to do. So we'll mess with that later. But right now, let me go get your bucket. Oh, I keep hitting you guys. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, here's that bottom, and, and it was actually doing something. You can see. You see right here, it's down the the bare metal. So that's this is the bottom. You know, I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to do. I don't know how uh, how crazy I'm going to get with the bottom. But here's the side. Go up a little bit. All right, here's a side, and the side's more of a surface rust. So uh, I think I think I'm just going to worry about the sides. Like I say, it's a battery box. So I mean, how crazy are you going to get, right? Okay, I'll let that sit for a little bit. Yeah, let me let me go get your bucket. All right, here's our bucket of uh, degreaser. What I did is I took the the hood mechanism. Put these gloves on, have a hole in them. And I stuck this in here. And I don't know if you're in a frame here. I got the sun right in my face. But uh, I degreased this. Wow. I actually had to scrape it. I sat for about an hour or two and scraped off. Let's keep looking, see if you're in the frame, okay. Like I say, sorry for the harsh light, but uh, the sun is going down. Yeah, this was a mess. Yeah, I uh, degreased it. I, I scraped it down and everything. Now I'm, I'm gonna clean it and paint this black. So I'm happy with that. That'll give me something to do tonight. All right, let's check back with uh, our rust remover here, see what's going on. All right, it's only been a couple of minutes, so uh, actually it came out. I like the way it came out. You know, it looks like it looks like there's a slight bit of rust here, but like I said, it's only been a couple of minutes. And down here, I can see it, it's gone down to bare steel, so it's a shame I don't have a... Uh, a five gallon pail or two and a half gallon pail of that stuff. I only have a gallon. But anyway, for what I'm doing, this would probably be plenty good. You know, I'm using uh, frame paint. And frame paint, you, you, you're supposed to be able to paint over a little bit of rust. So, uh, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to clean this up a little more and uh, and then we'll paint it. So, alright. Like I say, the sun is, is right in my face now, so. We'll, uh, we're going to call it quits for now, and uh, I'll add this on to that little bit of video, that way you guys have a little bit to watch, so. Alright, we'll see you in the next one.